Welcome to video 3 for this unit on functions and volume. In this video, we're going to focus on linear functions and rates of change. Suppose a car is traveling at 30 miles per hour. The relationship between the time in hours and the distance in miles is a proportional relationship. We can represent this relationship with an equation of the form d equals 30t, where distance is a function of time, since each input of time has exactly one output of distance. Or we could write the equation t equals 1 over 30d instead, where time is a function of distance, since each input of distance has exactly one output of time. More generally, if we represent a linear function with an equation like y equals mx plus b, then b is the initial value, which is zero for proportional relationships, and m is the rate of change of the function. If m is positive, the function is increasing. If m is negative, the function is decreasing. If we represent a linear function in a different way, say with a graph, we can use what we know about graphs of lines to find the b and m values and, if needed, write an equation. Water has different boiling points at different elevations. At zero meters above sea level, the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. At 2,500 meters above sea level, the boiling point is 91.3 degrees Celsius. If we assume the boiling point of water is a linear function of elevation, we can use these two data points to calculate the slope of the line. The slope means that for each increase of 2,500 meters, the boiling point of water decreases by 8.7 degrees Celsius. Next, we already know the y-intercept is 100 degrees Celsius from the first point. So a linear equation representing the data is y equals negative 8.7 over 2,500 times x plus 100. This equation is an example of a mathematical model. A mathematical model is a mathematical object like an equation, a function, or a geometric figure that we use to represent a real-life situation. Sometimes a situation can be modeled by a linear function. We have to use judgment about whether this is a reasonable thing to do based on the information we are given. We must also be aware that the model may make imprecise predictions, or may only be appropriate for certain intervals of values. We already know our model accurately predicts the boiling point of water for 0 meters and 2,500 meters of elevation. Testing our model for the boiling point of water at an elevation of 1,000 meters above sea level, so when x equals 1,000, it accurately predicts that water will boil at 96.5 degrees Celsius. For higher elevations, the model is not as accurate, but it is still close. At 5,000 meters above sea level, it predicts 82.6 degrees Celsius, which is 0.6 degrees Celsius off the actual value of 83.2 degrees Celsius. At 9,000 meters above sea level, it predicts 68.7 degrees Celsius, which is about 3 degrees Celsius less than the actual value of 71.5 degrees Celsius. The model continues to be less accurate at even higher elevations, since the relationship between the boiling point of water and elevation isn't linear. But for the elevations in which most people live, it's pretty good. Here is a graph of temperature recordings taken at several times throughout a day and modeled with a piecewise function made up of two line segments. 
A piecewise linear function can be used to model situations in which a quantity changes at a constant rate for a while, then switches to a different constant rate. We can use piecewise functions to represent stories, or we can use them to model actual data, like we see here. In this example, the piecewise function has only two pieces. But piecewise functions can have as many pieces as needed depending on the goals of the person creating the model. Here, for different intervals of input, the output is changing at different approximately constant rates, so a different line is used for each interval. The inputs from 0 to 6 hours after midnight show a positive rate of change. while the inputs from 6 to 12 hours after midnight show a negative rate of change. Thank you for watching video 3 of 5 for this unit on functions and volume.